song says, um, you are the king of my heart. Let the king of my heart. And he goes on to sing over and over again, almost like a broken record. But it, it is more or less reassuring. The person singing is reassuring herself and reassuring you and I that he will never, never let you down. That he's never, 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 never going to let you down. The Bible says that David said, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. That David pulled a chair and sat his soul down and said, Why are you fretting, O oh my soul? Forget not his benefit. Remember, 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 O oh my soul, how good he has been to us in the past. And sometimes we need to get to that place where, where like, like, like a, one man of God said, um, he said, preach to yourself. Where you need to preach to your soul and remind your troubled soul, your fretted soul that this God has been good to you. Amen. Amen. That this God is consistent and watch over you since you are a child has been good and protected you, is not going to let you bring you this far to, to, to leave you in the wilderness. Amen. That's what David, um, that's what Moses said to God. He said, God, if, if, if you turn away from your people now, these stiff necked people, people will say you brought them out of Egypt only to leave them in the wilderness. That's not your nature, God, Moses said. That's not in your nature. Your nature is your consistent in mercy, abounding in love. Hallelujah. And that's the confession of Jonah. Even when he goes to preach to people who seem, none of them seem to be so against God, he came back and he said, God, I knew that you are abounding in mercy and love. I knew you from the very beginning that this is your nature. Don't let the devil lie to you. God is consistent. He abounding in love and in mercy. Hallelujah. Let the king of my heart invite him to come and sit on the throne of your troubled heart. Let's worship the lion and the lamb.